what you guys got another video here for you on the fastest way to back up all of your data we're going to be using a script using robocopy so let me show you how basically we're going to do this now robocopy is a really fast way of copying data from one place to another so i've got some data inside of this drive here as you can see and what i'm going to do is i'm going to be sending this over uh, to my nas and you can use a batch file to do this with robocopy it makes it very easy and fast so you can see i've got my files here these are my source files and these can be any type of files whether they're iso files whether they're uh, documents or images or anything like that it can be any type of file and they can be stored on any sort of drive here now this is my nas this is going to be the destination that i'm going to be sending it to now it doesn't have to go to your nas it could go to another partition another computer another drive whatever it is you want to do as long as you get the source and the destination in the right uh, order it should copy these files no problem at all so i've got this folder set up on my nas here already and i've just called this youtube images now you don't want any spaces in your uh, names here because that can cause problems as well so next up what we're going to do is go to this robocopy folder here now i'm going to make sure that the uh, show hidden files folders and drives is on and also remove the check mark from hide extensions from uh, known file types this is so we can change the text document from dot txt to dot bat so let's call this uh, my backup or whatever you want to call it you can call it whatever you like and you can see here dot txt i'm going to change this to dot bat and this will make this a batch file you can see the icon has now changed to these two cogs and that means we've now got a batch file there's no content inside here yet so we're going to go in here and edit this file and we now need to put in our commands now you can do these straight into command prompt if you wish but i'm going to be doing this in a batch file and then i'll also create a task for this later on to run uh, for us uh, automatically so you can see here robocopy is what we're going to do at echo space off then robocopy and then space e colon backslash data that is the source of my files that i want to copy over to another place you can see it here so i go to here and this is the location and it's going to copy all of this content in an instant it really will and uh, this is the stuff we're going to copy here now this can be different on your batch file just make sure you get the right location so this is the source that we're going to be copying Next up, we need to go to the location of our uh, destination, and this is going to be my NAS. So this is what I need to do here is copy the location here. So I'm going to copy this location, and then we're going to go back to our text document, and we're going to paste that in there. You can type it out if you wish, but I'm just going to copy and paste it straight into that location. Now, yours might be different. So just make sure you get these in the right order because it will delete files if you get these around the wrong way. So the first one is source, second one is destination. And that is the path right there. Now yours might be different as I've said and it might be backing up to a different location. So there's many places to back up using RoboCopy. Okay, so now we've got that done. What we need to do next is move on to the next section which is the little switches that we're going to use. Now the first one we're going to use is forward slash MIR. And this tells RoboCopy to make a mirror backup. And that's what all that does. So that's what that little uh, switch does there. So next on, we're going to go space and we're going to do another switch uh, for this. So let's go ahead and do a space and we can do the next one. Now, the next one we're going to be doing is forward slash XA colon H. And this is going to just leave the hidden files. So if they're hidden, it was just going to leave them and not copy them. And this means that these can be sort of uh, files that we don't want. So we're just going to leave those by doing that uh, little switch there. So let's move on to the next one. And the next one is going to be. So the next one we're going to do is forward slash uh, W colon zero. And this is to wait time between your retries. So it's like a, a timeout that it's going to take. Uh, the default is 30 seconds. So we're going to be uh, putting that in there as W colon zero uh, for our timeouts. So next up, we're going to be doing forward slash R colon one. And this is for the number of retries. So we're going to be doing one here. The default is one. 
Uh, but if you wanted to do more, say for instance, 30 seconds, you could do and put 30 there. Just put the number in that you want to set yours to. I'm leaving it as one. And then we can finish off with forward slash uh, REG space. And then that little uh, tiny greater thing, I think that's called. And then space C colon backslash. And this is going to be our log file. So we're going to call this robocopy uh, dash um, backup and uh, call this dot log. And this will be the log file of the um, backup that's happened. And it will give us all the information. So once you've got that, you can now save this. Now you can run this exactly as is without the at echo off in the uh, command prompt and it will generally run and it will copy all your data. But it's much easier to have this running as an automatic backup using the task uh, scheduler here. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to right click on this and run this just here to show you how it can copy this over to the uh, source file here. You can see how quick that was. And you can see here all the data has now been copied over. And if you was to drag and drop this, it will be a lot slower than what RoboCopy can do it. So it's a lot faster method of copying and backing up data. And again, we're copying this from a, from a mechanical hard drive to another mechanical hard drive on an as. So, and that is the actual script here. You can actually make duplicates and do more than one job at a time. So if you had another job that you want to do you just add it in here for instance like this this will be the source and you would call this say for instance c colon backslash uh, data so that was data you had in that folder there and you put it to the destination and it could be another drive on your computer just like so and uh, you can use ip addresses in here as well and copy from those and you can copy these and change these switches up to whatever you want to do or what you're trying to do whether you want to move data whether you want to copy data Maybe on a mirror data, there's loads of uh, different switches you can use on here. So make sure you read the full list and you can get those up in the command prompt here. So I'm going to delete this and just leave this as one job here. And I'll add this as a basic task schedule so you can see it. So let me go ahead and shut that off. And what we'll do here is I'll quickly show you here inside uh, the command prompt here. So let's go to command prompt. And if you want to check all of these switches, you can do. You just need to open up command prompt run this as administrator here and then you just would put in here robocopy space forward slash uh, question mark like so and then this will give you all of the information and all of the switches here that you can use here so you can see here there's a big long list of them and uh, you're probably not going to use a lot of this stuff here so don't get daunted by all of these there is uh, just a lot of this stuff is you know pretty much not going to be used by you but you can just go through and read a lot of this stuff here. And this will give you all the information of all the switches I've used. And you can just read them all here. So pretty straightforward. And that is the uh, RoboCopy uh, switches and what it can actually do. And you can see here there's some ones here. They're broken down into categories here. This is the copy options. And you've got all the copy options available here. So just check through the categories of what you can actually do with RoboCopy. Okay, so let's move on to the log file. I'll quickly show you the log file, and this is where the files have all been copied. It tells you all the files that have been copied over and stuff like that. So it'll give you all the information here, which is uh, useful if you want to check, and it will tell you exactly what's found and what's uh, copied over. So there's the log file. And again, you don't have to add that part in if you don't want to, but it is nice to have just a check. And again, if you're copying lots of files, uh, it's always nice to have a little uh, record of that. OK, so let's move on to the next bit, which is creating up a uh, scheduled task for this. So it will run automatically. This way you can have automatic backups done. So we're going to go to control panel and then open up control panel. And we're going to go to system and security. And we're going to go down to Windows tools. And we're looking for the task scheduler. And once we're inside here, we can create a simple basic task. So click on the click basic task. And you can give this a name, call it whatever you like. We'll just keep this simple and maybe give it a name of my backup or something like that. You can call it whatever you like. Uh, you can put a, a, this distinctive name in here that you would recognize. So we'll just call this that. You can give it a description if you want to. I'm just going to go next here. You can choose daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. Whatever you want to select there, I'm going to leave it daily. And you can set up your start time and your time and date here if you want to set that up there. And you can run it every so many days or every day, wherever you want to set it to. So set yours up here. 
and you can set all this up. Click next. Once you're happy with this, click next. And it will run at that time every single time. You need to start a program because we're going to be starting that uh, batch file. So make sure you select uh, start a program, click next, and browse for the batch file that you've got. So put the batch file in a safe place, maybe in your C root directory or something like that. I'll move it to there just to show you. And we're going to go into the C drive. And I've got a folder in here called RoboCopy. And I've got the batch file in there. And you can put all your batch files in one place. It's that way it's easier to uh, manage them. And we can select that. And they're pretty much it. You can just click Next here. Once you click Next, we can then uh, finish off. And this will run. So we've just got to click on Next here. Once we've done this, we don't need to put any more stuff in here. And you can see this is the end result. And we can now click Finish. And it will go on the times that you've set yours to run. And if you look here, you'll see your um, schedule. And you can see here says my backup and it's all ready to go. So you can right click on this and run this right now if you wanted to, or it will run on the time that you set it to do. And you can pretty much run this as you as you see fit. So yeah, that's how you can set up automatic backups using a script using RoboCopy. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, then give it a thumbs up. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you for another video tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.